Okay, I think we are about ready. Let me see. Uh, let me bring that up just a little bit. There we go. Alright. Where are we at? Okay. Stream looks good right now. <coughs> so let me go through uh, the achievements that we got through in Dragon Quest 2. We got most of them already. But yeah. Obtain the first gold and copper. Meet, meet up with the prince. Obtain the mirror of Ra. Uh, cure, uh, re remove the curse from the princess. Obtain the wind mantle. Get your sh uh, ship. Obtain the echo flute. Get the water, star, moon, sun, and life crest. And then take them to get the charm of Rubis. Get every treasure chest in the Tower of the Moon. Get all items in the sea cave. Obtain the silver key. Obtain the gold key. Obtain the jailer's key. Get the water gate key. Obtain the token of Erdrick. The Helmet of Erdrick, the Sword of Erdrick, the Armor of Erdrick, and the Shield of Erdrick. Get the world map in uh, the Dragon Lord's Castle. Obtain the Armor of Gaia. Defeat the Demon Priest in Middenhall. And obtain the Staff of Thunder. Obtain the Angel's Robe of Water. Defeat a Metal Babel. Talk to the King of Moonbrook with the Princess in your party. And get a Puff Puff. We don't have much more of this game left. But we are at the point where we're going we're going to have to do some grinding more or less. Okay. We have Okay. I'm trying. We are gonna go to. Oh, hold on. Let me turn this down on my end. We are gonna go back to the Cave of Rome. And at the Cave of Rome, we will be able to finish exploring the cave and get to the other side. And thinking about it. If I'm able to make it all the way across, all the way through the Cave of Rome, then I think I will actually get to the other side and take care of achievement on that end. It does mean I will have to cross back through the Cave of Rome, but hey, if I fail, I fail. But we will have to end up doing a lot of level grinding. And that's going to require liquid metal slimes or liquid metal babbles in this version. Uh, however, we also want to try to get the lottery achievement. Just getting I think it just says get one of the top prizes. You know what, I'm gonna speed this up with hell. And I know because I wasted a lot of of the repels. Oh wait, no, wrong way. I, raced, I wasted a lot of the lottery tickets. I should have put them in storage and saved them for later. But because I didn't do that, I'm going to have to go grind for them. So we're going to have to take care of that too. But for now, one thing at a time. Well, I got rid of one of them. Okay. All 
Alright, let's head off to the Cave of Rhone. Because there's still more treasure there. And remember, don't use the inn. Don't do it. I don't know if I specified this, but you don't you can use the inn if you're playing the NES version. I don't know if I remember to mention that. Uh, step guard. Because, uh, the only, the only, ugh, there's an event that triggers as soon as you, uh, as soon as you rest at the end. And we don't want to activate that. But that was not at, that event was not in the original NES version. Guard. Alright, back into the Cave of Rome. No, I was about to say I should have saved at the town, but no. No, I'm good. I, I made the right call by not doing that. Alright. I have the, so the Light Sword, and I can use that on the Skull Knights instead, and not waste MP. There we go. Now we'll continue like normal. Yeah, right now, the main goal is to find the, I think there's only one more treasure or just find the rest of the treasures in the Cave of Rome. That is the goal right now. I want... Firebane. Okay. I'm gonna have them focus on the Killer Tiger. Light Sword the Skull Knight. very useful for Maria to just cast Illusion. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can make it all the way through the Cave of Rome. And then when we get to the other side, I could get one more achievement. Okay, remember, third intersection. And then just... Pick a direction and keep going until you find the stairs. Um, right. Uh, my character can kill him in one hit. Um, Staff of Thunder on the first one. I mean, a crit is always nice. Alright. Heal more. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Power Shield. There we go. Done. Yay, we got a level up. Level 23, strength by 4, speed by 1, HP by 9. Third inter intersection, pick a direction and just keep going until you find the stairs. Alright, we want to head north. We already got all the treasures to the south, that's where Erdrick's shield was. No, Erdrick's armor was. And you know, I was thinking about why Erdrick's are. Ooh, Metal Babbles. Gotta try this.
They have five HP. Still in. Oh, four HP. Oh, whatever. Either way, we got him. This is exactly what we need. Kane's level 22, strength by two, speed by four, vitality by two, HP by four, MP by one. Maria's level 18, strength by one, speed by four, vitality by two, HP by eight, MP by nine. Oh, uh, that's a good level up. Anyway, uh, I was actually thinking about why Erdrick's shield or Erdrick's armor is in the cave to roam. I was also thinking of why the life crest was in here. And with the life crest, I made I came up with the theory that uh I came up with the theory that when Castle Moonbrook was being destroyed, Hargox Hargon's men probably found the 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 uh the seal or the sigil and then took it with them and just dumped it in the cave of Rome. Well, why, uh, well, that made me think, why is Erdrick's armor here? Probably for the same reason. Think about it. Castle Middenhall has the, uh, the token. Uh, Ca uh Castle Canock has the shield. It's possible that Moonbrook had the... Moonbrook had the armor. And again, when Hargon destroyed the place, or Hargon's men, they just found the armor and then took it with them. And just stashed it in the Cave of Rome. I think this is where you need to go. Oh, uh, another... Another maze? Magic Vampirus. I will... My, I might as well just Light Sword. It's always a nice idea. Luckily, I have Banishing Bells. Oh no, my defense went down. I only hit one of them. Okay. Let's heal up. Our shield. Might as well stab the thunder. Even if it did hit, it wasn't going to kill. There we go. Alright, let's go this way. I don't remember the exact pathway. Okay, let's go left. Okay, we want to light sword. Obviously, sleep is better to deal with dragons. Fireball's not that bad. At this point, we can sap the thunder. That was pretty weak. There we go. I mean, Illusion only helps with some of their attacks. And we looped around. Yeah, it only helps with some of their attacks. But getting illusion on them and then trying to cast sleep is probably the best way to handle this. Uh, okay. Kane, you need to heal power shield. I will try to cast sleep.
Oh, wow, I actually got all three of them. And that's only gonna work once. Stab the thunder. Because now, whenever I try to cast sleep, none of them are gonna fall asleep. That's just how it's gonna work. And done. Alright, uh, let's take the north path instead. That just leads back here. Okay, never mind. So going to the left, just all dead ends. Uh, let's work on these guys and then we'll. El no, wait. We cast sleep on the berserkers. I, if I'm correct, they're not affected by illusions, but it's sleep that they're affected by. Alright, and I guess I'll just stab a thunder. It's not a big deal. Stab a thunder. south. Dead end. Good to know. Let's go right. Okay. I'm gonna focus on the dragon first. I am going to put the berserker to sleep. Because that's basically guaranteed. You attack the Vampirus, you heal. Staff of Thunder, the Vampirus. Alright. And the Berserker woke up. I might as well have Maria heal. Now, let's see. Level 24. Strength by 3. Speed by 4. Vitality by 2. HP, HP by 6. There we go. Let's take the left path, and let's also take the left path. And we're back here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just ignore the Berserker for now. Light Sword of the Dragons. Hopefully they'll use physical attacks and then fail. There we go. Fireball. Scorching for flames, that's what I'm worried about. Okay. Sleep. Good, I at least- I got them both to sleep. Okay, good. I am going to have... The dragon's asleep currently. Yeah, focus on the berserker. You heal up. No, wait. Hold on, hold on. Attack the dragon. Heal up. Sleep the berserker. Dragon is still asleep. Power shield. Kane attacks the dragon. And I might as well have Maria heal up. There we go. Now we're good to go. Take the left path again, and now we'll take the right path. 
Okay, that's promising. Let's take the southern path. Back to start. Okay. Where's the right path take me? Back to the start. Good to know. The upper path. Where's that take me? Dead end. Light sword. Oh, did I get a crit? No? It was just damage range? Interesting. That was just a damage range. Okay, Molly, what are you doing? So, the Prince of Middenhall is now at the level where he has a chance of one-hit KOing dragons. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, go to the right. Take the left path. Take the right path. And then, I already tried south. These guys, okay. I was thinking it was baboons. No, it's these guys. Silver devils. These are annoying. Uh, let's heal, and then I am going to... El let's try illusion. It didn't work. Okay. 29 damage. I remember these guys being annoying. Sleep. Does sleep work on them? Yes. Okay, good to know. Alright, let's try the north path. Back to start. Okay. See what I... See why the cave of is annoying. Alright. Work on the killer machines. Throw the berserkers to sleep. Uh, go work on that. Staff of Thunder... Lightning didn't work on it. Oh, jeez. Kane's dead. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna have to use the leaf of the world tree, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the leaf of the world tree. Now I know how dangerous the killing machines are, I really need to focus on getting rid of it. I guess they can attack twice? Oh, we got a giant hammer. Alright. Kane, go back to full health. Revive. Alright. Never mind then. I'm gonna keep going because I want to at least figure out the pathway. Let's put the Berserker to sleep. This thing has a lot of HP. Oh, that's bad. Kane needs to heal. Maria? Let's... Can you put the Vampires to sleep? Can. Good. That helps. Let's heal up. Oh, good. Minute Hall woke up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna heal all. There we go. You notice how the huge difference between a pa attack power between. Middenhall and Canock. That is a huge difference. Oh, it's like Prince of Can Kane's like, oh, I could do like five to six damage against the killing machines. Meanwhile, uh, Prince of Middenhall's just like, eh, I could do like 40. I think Kane is too much of an all-rounder. <laughs> Granted, 
Maria's the mage? But yet, I'm using her for more status spells. And even then, I now have items that can just do her job. Right, I was gonna say, leave for the world tree. Oh, perfect. There we go. Alright, now that we made it over here, north and south leave to dead ends. Where am I? Back here? Oh, come on. Okay. Might as well take the opportunity to check the bottom right corner. Because I didn't do that when I was here. Might as well cast sleep. Make it easier for me. Even though I probably didn't need to, but hey. Yeah, nothing here. They didn't see me, and I believe these guys can be put to sleep. There we go. Yeah, putting fire, like, living fire to sleep, that makes sense. But hey, it's worth it. Staff of Thunder is not going to actually work, so let's just attack. Yeah, one more time. There we go. Alright. Where's the staircase? There it is. Okay, that brings me back here. Okay, can we not fall into a pit? That'd be nice. Killer machines again! Alright. Yeah, sleep on him. Um. Yeah, let's just focus on getting rid of him. Kane might die, though. Okay, good. But first, let's go with Power Shield and Sack of Thunder. Okay. Let's avoid the pits. Oh, no. This is not good. I think I'll have Kane focus on one of the dragons. Now, I did not mean to use the light sword on the killer machine. It does work on him, though. Good to know. That was not my intention. Good to know that the light, uh, that illusions work on robots. gonna have Maria heal up. Perfect. Yeah, Kane could kill a dragon, it just takes like three turns to do so. Meanwhile, <laughs> my character is just like, yeah, I may be able to one-shot these guys. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, who leveled up? Is it Kane? I think it's Kane. Yeah, level 23, strength by 1, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 8, and MP by 6. Learned defeat. Um, I need to look up that spell. Because if I am correct, that might just be Kamikaze. Dang it. 
We're finding all the pit hole, uh, the pitfalls right now. Yeah, I might have to look up that spell. I just want to get back to where I was. Is that too hard to ask? Is it too much to ask? Uh, Silver Devils, at least they can be put to sleep. Here, let me look at what defeat does. Spells. Oh, come on! Again, at least I'm finding all the pitfalls. And they seem to save, so... I don't even think the NES version even does that. Could be wrong, though. Alright, defeat. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm... It's not Kamikaze. Defeat is just... It has a chance to just instantly kill a group of enemies. I think it's a low number, though. It's like a low percentage. Let me see. Defeat. Oh, otherwise known as Thwack. That's what it is. Instant death. In instant death spell. Uh, what is the percentage? 4 MP to cast. Uh, I'm not seeing a percentage. It's like a, it's a very low percent chance of it working. I, I like never use, I never use black because it never works. But of course, when the enemies use it against you, it almost always works. That's, that's how RPGs work. That's how instant kill stuff works. Uh, can I get percentage on a different game? Maybe? Um... I'm not... I'm not really... Wait, okay. So... In Dragon Quest XI, Thwack has a 50% success rate before looking at resistances. But apparently... It can be increased to 75 base accuracy. But that's a that's Dragon Quest 11. I don't know uh, what the how it works in this version. Okay, let's put the kill. Let's put the robot under illusions. I'm pretty sure you can't put the robot to sleep, though. Uh, good thing I accidentally found that out. And let's put these guys to sleep, because they are lowering my defense. Power Shield and Step of Thunder. Well, we got one kill out of it. At least I'm finding all the pitfalls. I am finding them all. I hate the Cave of Rome so much. <laughs> yeah, let's focus on the killing machine right now. Okay, good. And 
let's put the Berserkers to sleep. Yeah, Kane does five damage to these guys. <laughs> Prince of Mittenhall is like 45. The huge power difference is ridiculous. Granted, Kane is using the Sword of Erdrick. He is not, he does not have the most powerful sword at the moment. That he can even equip at the moment, so. He is a little underpowered, I'll give him that. But even if he had, like, even the light sword, it still wouldn't be that comparable. And yet, I gave it to Maria so, just so she doesn't have to cast <coughs> a surround from using MP, so that's on me. There we go. Finally made it up the stairs again. Let's try this once again. Go right. I hate these guys. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have Kane focus on the Berserkers. Light sword, killer machine. Uh, Kane's dead. And I used up my Leaf of the World tree. Okay. I think we need to get out of it. Well, I don't care if I lose my MP. Or my gold, I mean. I guess we'll just keep going. I need to figure out the pathway. That's ultimately what's going to be important right now. Power shield, power shield. here. Oh, of course, it was the one that was asleep still that got killed. Makes sense. Uh, of course, Kate's dead. And Maria leveled up. Yay! Level 19, strength by 2, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 8, MP by 9. And she learned Explode It. Uh, what was Exploded? Okay, it's basically give or take 60 damage to all enemies. It's Explode. It's Boom. Okay, good. That is a good spell for her to have. I hate these guys. Let's put them to sleep. I sh probably should get out of here, but I want to figure out the pathway. How to get out of here. Take the upper path. Yep. To the right. And let's try the lower path. Back to start. <laughs> God. Okay. Okay. Might die here. Right sword on the killer machine. Um, uh, really? Oh, that sucks. Power shield. Okay, that was just basic fireball. Why are they just constantly protecting themselves? Try again. Light sword. There we go. Third time's the charm. Still not a one-hit KO just yet. Okay, basic fireball. That's fine. I'm gonna heal all. Or full heal, whatever. Okay, one dragon's down. Fireball. Okay. Let's focus on getting rid of the dragon. And good. I might as well have Maria heal herself. This almost got worse. Like, 
immediately, so it almost got worse. Alright, let's try this again. To the right. To the left. To the right. Fight some more dragons. Now this is a real dragon quest. And there's two dragons. I, it's kind of perfect, honestly. There's two party members. I mean, one of them's dead, but that's nothing normal. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. I think this is just a fitting, uh, fitting game right now. Oh, got a level. Perfect. Level 25. Strength by 5. And HP by 9. I mean... Could have had a couple more stats. However... The strength by 5 is really good. Okay, let's focus on the Berserker and let's put these guys to sleep. Berserker, like, still alive. You know what? Let's staff a Thunder the Berserker. Should be enough to kill. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's heal up. Shield. And there we go. take the upper path this time. Okay, only one way to go. Keep going. Left to right. Let's go left. Let's focus on the killer machine. Now, let's put the Berserkers to sleep. Normally, I would say put the Berserkers to sleep first. You know, because there's two of them. More and en less enemies that can attack, but... When the freaking robot can attack twice, doesn't really matter. And he's stronger, too. Okay. Might as well heal up. Northern path? Left path? Okay. Let's go to the right. Back to start. You know what? Let's get out of here. Outside. Oh, did we not take damage on swamps? Huh. Weird. Can I... Eh, I'll just deal with it. Sap of Thunder on the Drakkies. Alright. Oh, right, they're headhunters. These are the weaker variants. I don't really want to use my Chimera Wing just yet. Wait, do I even need Scepter? Does, like, this... Oh, does the... Oh, no. There it goes. I think it protects the Prince of Middenhall, but no one else. Okay. I think that's what the Erdrick, uh, Erdrick's armor does. 
Okay. Again, don't use the inn. Alright, let's revive. I'll pay the gold. 460 just to revive a person, I mean. A little spendy if you ask me. Maybe Kane needs to stay dead, I don't know. Alright. Let's go ahead and cast Return. I want, not only do I want to use an inn, I need to get another Yggdrasil Weep. Uh, Yggdrasil Leaf. There we go. I can't speak. Alright. Oh, that was both productive and non productive in the Cave of Rome. I mean, we got a little bit farther, and we found a bunch of pitfalls that I think are permanently there. Uh, do I want to put the gold? If he, this guy will move, I would love to put my gold in the vault. Is it? Gold. There we go. And I'm all healed up and ready to go. Look at Maria's MP. 114. That is ridiculous. It's just as amazing. Okay, let's go get another Yggdrasil leaf, and then we'll go back to the Cave of Rome. Can I run? Good. Let's repel. I don't want to fight any of these guys. I have to spend 10 hours in the Cave of Rhone. I already have to deal with enough. And head straight south. Okay, hold on. Uh, world map. Okay. Hell. And... There's the island, and we go left, and there's the tree. Yay, another revive. Give that back to Maria. Oh, I could have sold the hammer, and it's not a big deal. Maybe I'll sell it when I get back to town. I might be able to throw in the other two keys in storage. I don't know if you need any other keys for the Cave of Rhone onward. You need the Jailer's key, but that's it. Okay, we could just head straight left. Yeah, I'm casting a lot of repels, but... Her MP is going to be saved in the cave. So it's not a big deal. Man, it's been like an hour and I feel like I made like no progress other than levels. That's the only progress I've actually made. It's just getting a couple levels. It, uh, the liquid metal slime really helped with that, didn't it? Okay, back here. I guess I'll go sell the hammer just so it's out of my inventory. Because I don't need it. Giant hammer! There we go. 3,000 gold. Don't use the inn. I'm going to constantly say that. Don't use the inn here. Alright. Step guard. And then I think you still want to use step guard. 
Okay, no, you could probably get away without using it there. Because if the if the Prince of Mindenhall can make it to like the door. If he can make it to the door before someone else could get hurt, then you don't need to use Step Guard. Alright, let's try this again. Again, we both made progress and no progress at the exact same time. Uh, you know what? Let's power shield. I gotta heal after that. Come on, uh, No, still alive. Oh, we killed one. Oh no, my defense has been lowered. Another pitfall. Oh, that one's not that bad. It's kind of getting annoying how many pitfalls we're finding. Right. One, two, third. Nope, not yet. Skull Knights again. Swords. Get all, all of you get hit by sand attack. You should now hit me physically a lot less because you should be missing even though it's not working right now. Maybe throwing sand in, uh, in the eyes of skeletons don't really do anything. There we go, now it worked. Now we made it to the third intersection. Yeah, just keep going down. In this case, found it. All right, now to head up. We've got every treasure in this section. Liquid metal slimes. I like it. And he ran. Uh, that's too bad. But we need to fight more of those. There we go. And let's just focus on the Orc King, I guess. He can cast heal more. But at least he didn't attack me. Come on. And there's the stairs. Alright. Let's avoid the pits. See why this cave is annoying? At least, at least this game is nice enough to just keep the pits visible if you found it. I don't know if the NES version is that nice. I don't know if the NES version is that nice. I should try out the NES version at some point. Just because, you know, I'm insane. Because why would you play the NES version? It requires more grinding.
And also, I wonder if they did, like, enemy balance in every version other than the NES. Like, actually changed, like, how strong the enemies were. I don't know. Getting... Okay, hold on. Light sword on... Oops. The killer machine. Look, the dragons are bad, as well as the killer machine, but the dragons could just ignore and use Scorching Breath. The killing machine only really has physical attacks. I gotta focus on healing. That was just basic fireball. Yeah, let's just go for the attacks. Pass illusion. Copper lightning sword kills dragons easily, slices through them like butter. It's too bad we don't have a lightning sword. It, it, it is a shame. All right, let's take this time to heal. Uh, power shield, power shield, and power shield. How's it going, Hawthorne Dog? Still going- uh, still trying to tackle through the Cave of Roan. This entire time I've just been doing the Cave of Roan. Getting lost, because I hate this place. Everyone hates this place. And all of its maze-like qualities and pitfalls. Sword on the killing machine. Oh, did it not work? Oh, they must have a small amount of resistance. Fine, at that point, we'll just put the Berserker to sleep. There we go. I'll let Kane heal. And Maria, why not? It's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah, if I wasn't going for, like, these achievements, we'd be on our way to try to actually beat the final boss. I mean, still have to get through the Cave of Rome, but still. But no, there's more. Oh, look. More dragons. Uh, I finally got the final piece of the Dormammu. For Dormammu in Strike Force. No, the Strike Force to start. One and a half nodes yesterday just got a clean up. Try the last cosmic node. Right, um. Oh no! Dang it! This is. This is bad. Okay, hold on. Uh. Power shield. Sleep. Please work. Good. Alright, now Sap of Thunder. Uh, yeah, I know, I died. That's like a... F it's not a first, because I died at the very beginning of the game when it was just... just me. But it still feels like a first. It's almost always Kane or Maria. You know, once you actually have a full party, <laughs> it's almost never... Silver, almost never the main prince. Oh, wait, uh, not spells. Hold on. This could be fixed. Yggdrasil Leaf. There we go. R.I.P. me. Someone will shed a tear. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Focus on the killing machine. I'll let... Kane, focus on the Berserker, and we shall illusion the killing machine. Okay, 
Okay, good. No one fell asleep. I might just put the pterodactyl to sleep. I think that'll be for the best. There we go. And I'm pretty sure Kane should have the Berserker killed. Might as well heal up. Jeez, this isn't that good of a run, is it? If I already had to uh, revive someone this quick. Domamu is mostly support. Because he does his two moves and then he just sits around. Hoping he does, does that until he gets a special. Hoping he doesn't die until he gets a special. Hmm. Kind of sounds not that great. Ah, Scorching Breath. Good. One dragon's killed. Might as well heal Kane. I want to make sure everyone's topped off. Well, not topped off, but not in danger. There we go. Alright, upper path. Then we take the left path. Then we want to go up, I think. We're gonna find out if this is the correct pathway. Of course Kane missed. It's not really that great. Okay, we need to heal. Yeah, we need to heal. Uh, let's see. Power shield. Power shield. Sleep. Of course it didn't work. Scorching flames again. Alright. I'll let Maria heal now. His passive is on spawn. If he's at full HP, all of his allies will spawn with... Revive one. Oh, they everyone gets a uh, auto revive. Okay. Uh, when he uses his special, he gains two charge every time it's his turn. He loses a charge. The charge makes it so anytime he's charged, whenever it's an opponent's turn, they all get their buffs flipped. Okay, I can see how that's used. That's good. Left or right? We will go left. Dang it! <laughs> Back to start. Okay, time to do this again. Uh, I hate the cave to Rhone. Oh, he did. He didn't see me. Let's just run. I know it's an easy kill at that point. I also want to try to get a move on. Actually, we'll let you heal and then cast sleep. Sorry. Yeah, I wouldn't say much is going on over here. Just kind of had a more chill weekend just playing games, more or less. Kind of, kind of relaxing. So he's mostly just standing around. He's also one of the coolest kill animations. Oh, cool. Oh, another giant hammer. How nice. He disappears from the screen and then under... The opponent, a portal appears, and a massive version of his hand grabs the and downs toward the portal. Like, basically dragging him to hell. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, good. One dragon's out of here. I think I'll heal... Uh... My character, Staff of Thunder.
and... Okay, I'll try to get the other two to heal. There we go. Should be done. Perfect. Upper path. We go left. Oh, come on. Two dragons. What else is new? Oh, I hate the cave to grow. Alright. Might as well have Maria heal a lot, I guess. It's not the other four members are Cain, the Conqueror, Void Knight, Silver Surfer with the Symbiote. Okay. Sis, uh, Kestriel and Val. Is that team any good? Or is it, like, very niche? Alright. Let's go right. Okay, we're making progress. Yeah, you know what? Let's just put the Berserkers to sleep. Yep. That's kind of why I kind of illusioned the robot. But it takes two hits. It takes two hits to kill anyway. So, in the end, does it really matter? At least we haven't gotten into a battle with more than one of them. Because that would be awful. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright. Same thing again. Killer Machine just decided to focus on Kane. That's okay. I can live with that. Kane kind of sucks anyway. Okay, good. We got rid of. Got rid of him. I probably should have used magic to heal. Yeah, you know what? I might. Oh! We gotta level up. Is it Maria? It's Kane! Level 24! Strength by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 7, MP by 4. That's actually pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna have Kane heal. I wanna say Void Knight is the niche character of the team, but he is an essential member of the current raid meta team. Mm. Come on, I feel like I'm making no progress. All right. Let's focus on the dragons. Ups off raids due to his utility and speed. Once he uses his utility... He, or his ultimate and speed. He's basically served it to use. Oh, once he uses his one ability, that's all he needs to do. Okay. And Kane's dead. Are we shocked? <laughs> <coughs> and I have no way to revive him. Scorching flames. Oh, no. Let's spend time... Oh, wait. Let's spend time healing. Good. Surfer's still asleep. One dragon is defeated. Both dragons are defeated. The Berserker woke up, but that's okay. Because we can heal. I mean, it's nothing new that Kane is dead, but it's still annoying. Now we gotta leave again. Kane sucks. Let's 
sap of thunder. Get out of here. Damage power runs. He's useful in all game modes. That's for those like Void Knight, which she's a. Oh, we finally made. We finally found the stairs. And we made it out to cave. Out of the cave to Roan. I did not find what I was looking for. <laughs> uh. She's probably one of the hardest hitting characters in the game, right along with countering many teams due to her ability to stop summons and transformations. Okay. We may have made it out to cave the out of the cave to Roan. We're not safe yet. We're we're still not safe. We're still not safe. See what I mean? Look at this. We got Killer, we got killer machines, we got cyclops, and we got silver devils. Okay, let's put the silver devil to sleep. Okay. Let's focus on the killer machine. Can we put the cyclops to sleep? Yes. Good. Everyone's asleep. Let's heal up. I think everyone's everyone's still asleep. Let's focus on the Silver Devil. The Silver Devil's awake, but now he's dead. And Cyclops is awake. However, let's see if a single turn is enough. Again, I haven't found everything in the Cave of Rhone. I need to go back. But for now, can I head north? We're almost there. No, to the right. To the right. Take the bridge. Devil Lords! Oh, God. Sleep. Oh, no, Firebane. Oh, it doesn't work! Oh no, Maria's poisoned. Firebane. Power shield. Maria, you're such a trooper right now. Not enough. Heal all. No, come on! No, I got it. I gotta focus on healing. Power shield. Power shield. Uh, Basically makes the game mode very easy since she steals up to 50% HP of all opponents with her ultimate as well as reviving two dead allies. Ultimate ability blocks primary and adjacent opponents. So she applies exposed, and her effect is when a person is exposed as hit, she hurts them for 1% of her HP and gains the ability. A special ability block? Huh, weird. Let's try this again. Can we cast the light sword? Good. Uh, three hits on the double lord. This is. Mm. Okay. They can be affected by illusions, but they just love casting Firebane. Power shield. See, even after getting through the cave, we're still not safe. Not yet, though. Okay, let's heal up. One turn. One turn. Need to try to deal some damage. They love casting Firebane. Okay, we got one of them down. 
time to heal up. Can't use the shield one time use cause DPS Maria is the healer. Pretty much. Pretty much. But here's the thing, like, Maria is like the healer, sure. But like most of the time, like, I'm having her use items to heal. And also, because everyone has power shields, everyone can cast heal more on themselves. Basically, in battle, so. I'm barely using Maria's MP to actually attack, you know? Okay, first, I might as well cast full heal, because that was bad. That was really bad. And, okay, that's not what I meant to do, and that's not going to work anyway. Antidote. That's what I wanted. But yeah, that's generally the idea. Oh, we made it. We made it. You have come, Stapa. Oh, gods. May the light shine upon the descendants of the legendary hero, R Erdrick. And then you can save here if you wish. Would you like to record? Um... Yes. I will save here. And just by talking to him, he is a full heal. This is the Traveler's Gate. It will return you to the lower world. If you wish to return... Oh, I thought you had to go all the way through the Cave of Rome. Oh, that's nice. I thought if I wanted to leave, you just had to actually go through the cave. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay. Now we need to go back into the cave. I need to look up a map of the cave, because clearly I did something wrong. Okay. Oh, did sleep just not work? Sleep must not have worked. Uh, light sword? I doubt that's going to really help me, but... Let's see... So far we're fine. Staff of Thunder? Will that even work? It does work, unlike the fire ones. The hard part is the cosmic nose is making sure Domamu is at full HP. Yeah, that keeping him at full health would probably be the hardest thing to do, would it? There we go. Oh, someone leveled up. That's nice. Maria's level 20. Speed by 9. Vitality by 4. HP by 7. MP by 7. Again, like, Maria's fast. Maria's very fast. Okay, at least these guys could be put to sleep. We can always just warp back with the... with Kane. Okay, where did I mess up? Where was it? Okay. Alright. Um, wait, how do you get there? Don't tell me you have to, like, fall from hit or something. Uh, power shield. And then Staff of Thunder. Okay, now I'm kind of lost. I 
I hate the game of thrones so much. Okay, this map is not helping me. I mean, it kind of is, but it's also not. Give me a second. Where's that taking me? And that takes me where? Okay, that's not helpful. Okay, to O. O takes me... Okay, that's not helpful. And J takes me here to N, and N takes me there. Okay. Do I need to find a different map? Or is this one of those I have to, like, fall from... Okay, hold on. Uh, fall into this pit to jump to 13. Wait, where's 13? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... Hmm. Okay. There's nine then. I, I knew I did something wrong. Where is nine? This map is a little... I knew it. I knew there was something to that room. Okay, I knew I had something right on my first attempt, but I... Mm, I hate the Cave of Rome so much. Alright, we're going back in. Hard part of the Cosmic Nose is making sure Domamu is at full H... Right, right, right. I thought that was a new one. Uh, sleep? It's like... iPhone... Oh. Okay, oh, they actually allow emulators now? I wonder why they do that now. Is it like any emulator or is there still limits? Also, I remember, you know, that being a deal breaker for a lot of people with iPhone. Because, over Android, because, you know, with Android you could play like Game Boy stuff, among other things. Because of the EU. Uh, can you explain to me what's going on? Explain to me what's happening. Level 26, speed by 4. No, strength by 4, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 8, and we found a banishing bell. Okay. Get rid of that. Alright. Going back through. We need to take a shortcut back. I knew, like... Oh, this sucks. I knew I had the right idea the first time. Okay, we want to fall into a pit. We want to end up down here. We're going to the bottom left. Like I did the first time. I knew I had something right. I just couldn't remember why. Alright. I might as well let Kane heal. It's not a big deal. Staff of Thunder. So, because something... Because a uh, new law in Europe of now affects all of Apple, or all of iPhone. That's interesting. But I'm curious on what this is. Hell, I haven't really been using my phone for, like, any games lately. Like, after freaking Dissidia got shut down, I haven't really used it for games. Who knows, maybe I'll throw something in there. I don't know. Okay, we want to go to the bottom left corner, and we need to find... See what I mean? Where? 
Still haven't found it. Sleep. No. It's around here somewhere. around here. Oh, get out of here. Of course, we're find fighting like 10 enemies at once. There it is! You see what I mean? Very specific tile, but when you do that, we found the lightning sword! The strongest weapon in the game! See? Someone took a copper sword and got it struck by lightning. And there's the achievement. All right, first I'm going to uh, hand over the light sword to Kane. Now I'm gonna have Kane. Okay, hold on. If you look, my character with the light sword is 173 attack. 198 with the lightning sword. So it, it's stronger. Actually, can Kane even equip it? No. Only Erdrick. So hold on. Uh, equip. Lightning sword, armor, shield, helm. Okay. So look, like, the Sword of Erdrick is way weaker than this. We have no reason to use the Sword of Erdrick. There is no reason to use it. Is there anything here? Another pitfall? And then you're back here? Outside. And return. That was what I was looking for. I had it right the first time. But, uh, whatever. Alright, I want to heal up. And I might as well heal. I might as well save. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, where does this portal take me? It says uh, they say that it's supposed to take me back. Oh, just straight back here. Then you use this, and you end up back here. Okay, good to know. I might as well take the opportunity to sell some stuff. And now that we saved in that monolith, we could just cast return. Still don't use the don't use the inn. Don't use it. We basically have a free heal now, so it's not worth it anyway. All right. And also, do you really want to go through the ca uh, the cave to Rhone again? I don't think you w I don't think you do. So, let's sell the giant hammer. Go 
sell the bell amulet. That should be it. Time to throw in the Sword of Erdrick into storage. Who cares about the Sword of Erdrick? It is weak sauce. <laughs> and we might as well deposit gold. It's not going to hurt anything. There we go. It's a combination of laws in the Europe, in Europe and in the U.S. Uh, let's also go and grab the Yggdrasil leaf. Gonna need another one. The U.S. lawsuit that changed it. Uh, the U.S. sent an antitrust lawsuit accusing Apple of stomping out cloud game streaming apps. Super apps. And the EU changed laws that allowed music apps that send people outside of the app to websites to show subscription prices. That's why app... Hmm. So just all of those combined means that a loophole was found where you can now have emulators. Is that what I'm understanding? It, it sounds like it's one of those... Well, it's not directly because people wanted emulators, but it just ends up being like, hey, we can actually put emulators on these now because of these combination of laws. Is that what I'm understanding? I just realized I just realized what I need to do. I still need to do the um the uh, the lottery stuff. All right. Because I need to do that, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to make another trip through the cave to Rhone. Because I'm gonna want to make this. Okay, yep. I know what I need to do. First, where am I? I will just kind of said, okay, we'll allow the emulators too at this point. Okay. You remember that dropped? Is, it's currently number one entertainment. What, did it happen like the same day? south. I need to get lottery tickets. We're gonna take care of this roulette one right away. We have two lottery tickets. Wait, do I want to take care of this now? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? Yeah, like... Fine. No, you know what? Let's not take care of this now. I'm, I am I know I'm kind of like... Scatterbrained on what I want to do, but... We'll take care of the, uh, the stuff later. Let's... Take... Let's see if we can take care of an achievement in Hargon's Castle. We gotta get to Hargon's castle, but let's try. Okay. Arc Arc Demons! I hate these guys with a passion. These guys are bulky. They are HP sponges and they hit hard. Let's try the light sword. I mean, it, Light Sword works, but they still have other ways. The emulator emulates N NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, GBA, 
N64 and DS? Wow. I didn't even think they would throw an N64. Uh, power shield. I forget. Can you put the blizzards under... And Kane's dead. I mean, what else is new? It also has controller support. That sounds nice, but I also don't know if it's any good, you know? Okay, Staff of Thunder. I should really check to see if you can put them to sleep. See, he's still alive. Unlike King, who's dead. There we go. Alright, can't I forget. Can't put him to sleep. No, you can't really put them to sleep. I think you just need to go for the attack with these guys. There's nothing I can really do other than just attack. Okay. Power shield. I don't want to use my Leaf of the World tree just yet. At the moment, I think I'm just going to head back to Monolith and try to revive Kane that way. Jeez, like 2,000 experience for all that. Do you see that? Who needs metal? I mean, metal babbles are... Liquid metal slimes are still good. Alright, we really need to get rid of the Devil Lords. You know what? Uh, since I could be healing up soon, let's use Explode It. Let's actually use my MP. 80 damage. 80 damage. And it doesn't affect the de Devil Lords. Then what's the point? Alright. You know what? I'm using it again. I don't care. It is a lot of EXP, especially when you compare it to every other enemy that's not a liquid metal slime. You know what? I am not risking it. We're gonna heal. I probably I might not even need it, but you know, I've gotta play it safe. I hate Devil Lords. I hate this area. You think you're safe once you make it out of the cave to roam. You think, oh, I know what to expect. No. You're not ready. You're still not ready. <laughs> might as well keep... Might as well make a save at some point. Right? Yes, we will continue on the journey without resting. Alright. Let's try it again. Off to Hargon's castle. Ugh. <sighs> Gigantus. Basically, are Cyclops hard enough? Well, here's another one that's stronger. <laughs> it has a club. Okay. Um, I don't know what to get rid of. Can I put the Archdemon to sleep? I know you can use Illusion. It didn't work. Okay, good to know. The grind never stops. I, I think you're kind of now realizing why this game is hard. <laughs> So like, this is like a huge, well, not power armor, this is a huge power creep, you know? Like, the enemies are very hard here. It doesn't work on Gigantus either? Power shield, power shield. Scorching flames! Oh, good. Wait, did someone attack twice? Who can attack twice? Who can do that? Come on. Light sword, Gigantus. Oh, great. Explode it. Maria's dead. I hate Arch Demons so much. I hate them.
See, they are just HP sponges. Alright. Power shield. Power shield. You almost want to ignore them, just so you can get rid of every other enemy. There we go. Still 2,000 experience. Back to heal. Uh, I just wanted to go to Hargon's castle. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, might as well just make the save. It's not hurting anything. All right. And I'm still... I read that liquid metal slimes are still available to fight here. Grind, don't stop max level. Well, we don't need to go to max level. <sighs> Sleep did not work on them, neither did illusion. We just needed to go for the attack. Again, we don't need to go to max, max level, but we do need to grind for two achievements. And it's probably best just to train here. Just hang out by the monolith. Power shield. Mm, explode it doesn't work. Staff of Thunder. What can we do against... You know what? I think I know what we could do instead. Jeez! That was three attacks! You mean sometimes they can attack twice? I hate this part so much. Fireball. Good. Oh, by the way, Lightning Sword also calls Lightning. Kind of like the Staff of Thunder, if that wasn't obvious. Let's heal. Or shield. Kane's dead. Again. What else is new? Jeez, and the level grinding needs to go to, like, everyone. Alright, heading back. Oh, right, I forgot I'm poisoned. Okay. Okay then, like the sword. Scorching flames. Fallout 4 purchases skyrocket. Why? Did Oh, it has to do with the TV show, doesn't it? Alright, got rid of got, got rid of him. Power shield. Power shield. And we are not going to make it out of here. Surround, fence. Can I run? I managed to run. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Can I run, please? There was no escape. Well, that's something. Looks like you died. I'll give you one more chance, though. All right. You still have to talk to him so everyone revives. See, I'm trying to get to Hargon's castle, but, like, the enemies are too stupid. Yes, we'll continue the adventure. Off to Hargon! Again! Man, it would be very nice to find a liquid metal slime about now. Ah, dang it. Um... Let's just get rid of the Gigantus and then I'll just tap a thunder. 
Due to this, there seems to be a growing gatekeeping community in the Fallout because the show watchers aren't real fans. Oh, Everyone has Fallout 76, but that game has a reputation of having some the, the nicest and generous players. So it's not a hmm. It's. That's a thing, isn't it? Like, just because you watch a TV show. You watch a TV show that's based on a property, and that makes you want to look at the original source material, why would you be complaining about that? Because who knows? They'll probably play, they'll probably look into the original source material and find out it's better, and then become quote unquote real fans. Uh, this is kind of stupid. Hargon. Hargon's ca oh, there's Hargon's castle. Uh, we have to go through here, don't we? Go through the mountains. Okay. I'm gonna focus on the blizzards. However, I think it might be best to cast Sap. It does work on them. Cain, heal up. I like new commands. It means I can go through Twitch and find out new players to tell them how to beat certain spots. Yeah, you know, like... It's like... Whatever the opinion is on the TV show, whether it's good or bad, if it gets people interested in the original source material and lets them try them out, read them, play the games, whatever it is. If they were books, it'd go to the original books. If it's games, and, it get, and the show gets you interested in to try out the games, that's what people would want, right? That's what should happen. And saying you're not real fans because you never played any of the games before and just watched the show, well, they're trying out the games. Like... <laughs> Who cares? And of course, Kane is dead. <sighs> Time to head back. Actually, at this point, if they if everyone dies, it's not going to change anything. I'm going to head back there anyway. Might as well keep going. Now. And, and that is the type of gatekeeping that a lot of people say, like, that needs to kind of stop, and I understand. But I think there is a type of gatekeeping that probably needs to not be ignored. It's, it's like the people that would, say, watch the show, and then play the game, but then want the game to be changed to fit whatever they like. That's when it's like, no... The games were fine before you jumped in. Just, you know, if you don't like the games, you don't like the games. But you like the lore, you know. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining it that well. It's when these new fans want to change the source material for whatever reason. That's when it becomes a problem. Just look what happened to Star Wars. <laughs> and Marvel. A lot of things, actually. Just you know, There are plenty of things where... Plenty of fandoms where... Quote-unquote, new fans jumped in. And that itself is not a problem. It's when they want to change the source material, that's when it becomes a problem. All right. Let's lower the defense of the Archdemon. And Marie. 
Maria is dead. Okay. So, you want to know how to deal with uh, Archdemons? You lower the defense. And even then, it's not enough to kill. Let's heal up. All right. Let's keep on going. And Kane, can you please stop, you know, dying? Please. This is this is getting annoying. Keep dying very quickly. Well, like, look at the live-action One Piece. Like, that did well to make people interested in the source material. One Piece volumes, especially like Volume 1, or the, like the 3 in 1 volume, the sales for that went up. The anime started getting more, oh, a lot more viewers after the live action came out. And I'm all for that. I am all for that. Like, that in itself is not a problem. You gotta start somewhere, you know? Time to heal up. Power shield. Power shield. Power shield. Okay. You know what? I'll let you... Kane needs to heal up again, but I'm gonna try lowering the defense. Another reason why I hate these guys, these guys are fast. That's another reason why I hate them. Okay, I lowered their defense, but we need more healing. Power shield. I'll let Kane attack. Power shield. Okay, Maria needs healing again. Kane needs healing. Okay, good. Made it through there. I think we are at the point of the game where we need to rely on lowering the enemy's defense. Great. What do I, what do I focus on? You know what? I'm going to have King actually do something. L raise my defense. And we're going to lower the defense of the Archdemon. I don't think it affects Firebane, though. fans have hated each other since the drop of Fallout 2. It's kind of inevitable these types of stuff. Yeah. yeah, whenever there's a change in genre, that's where you can have a split fan base. And you, you can see it in plenty of places. Look at Sonic. Look at Paper Mario. Uh, I'm pretty sure 2D Mario versus 3D Mario. Although, I think there isn't that much hate between, like, fandoms for that, but you, you see my point. Whenever there's a, sh a swap in some sort of genre, that's when you'll get a split fan base. And with Sonic, there's a bunch of different variants. Because Sonic loves to try a lot of different things to various degrees of success. Or mostly failures, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm the one that died first. Power shield, I guess, will staff with thunder? And Kane's dead.
And here we go. I think the Archdemon actually has some magic resistance, so it's better to use physical attacks. We're getting close to Hargon's castle. See, we're almost there. We're almost at Hargon's castle. We're almost there. We're, get, we're slowly getting EXP. We're slowly learning how to deal with these enemies. It's We're making it work. We're making it work, I swear. Okay. Let's try this again. It also helps sometimes when uh, the enemies just like to leave you alone. You know, that, that really helps. Okay. I'm gonna actually focus on the Gigantis enemy. We're gonna lower his defense. It was the same gameplay as one. It wasn't until three when the genre changed. Exactly, so as soon as they swapped the gameplay style, that's when it became like, are you a Fallout, do you like Fallout 1 and 2? Or do you like Fallout uh, anything after that? Because they are different types of, different flavors of gameplay. Okay. Power shield. Actually, let's just use power shields for now. Please, run out of MP already. And again, Paper Mario is very similar. 1 and 2 had a sp very specific gameplay style. What, a, what it was going for. Or, or, or I should say a specific formula. Then Super Paper Mario changed the formula to be basically just 2D Mario with a level up system. It's... Uh, it's a change. It definitely changed. But then, after Super Paper Mario, they went... Back to the more back to the RPG stuff, except they did it badly. And they. The Sticker Star is an awful game. Uh, we'll just use physical attacks. But ever since Sticker Star, for three games, uh, they've been using that formula. So, with Paper Mario, there's like three different gameplay styles that some people love the fr the some people love uh, the three most recent Paper Mario games and think that is the best formula. They are wrong. <laughs> but, uh, some people love Sticker Star. And I grew to like Sticker Star, but they are not the first two games where it had a specific formula, and then for whatever reason, they got rid of that formula. Oh, uh, I can't wait for Thousand Year Door remake. Uh, but there's a lot of infighting because of it. Mostly between the first three games and the last three games, there's a lot of infighting with Paper Mario due to it. Basically, the fans of the first, mainly the first two, are like, we want the, th we want it to go back to this formula. It was really good. You haven't done it since 2004. And then the new fans are kind of like, be like, ah, you just hate change. This is a good system. Be like, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> That's kind of what it comes down to. There's a lot of infighting, and don't even get started on Sonic. Sonic every game is basically like a different genre. Okay, let's go with def lower their defense. We might need to do that a second time if I can get to Okay, let's try it again. 
defense. At least it only costs one MP for Maria. There we go. Yeah, with Sonic, there's fans of the 2D Sonics. There's the fans of the adventure formula. There's fans of heroes. There's... And I guess Shadow the Hedgehog, I guess. There's fans of the boost formula. There's fans of... Colors formula generations. It's like Sonic has so many different gameplay styles that it splits the fan base due to it. It doesn't help. Like, it's. You can have multiple gameplay styles, right? The problem is when. I think the problem comes when there's a new gameplay style and that's the only thing they do and they just ignore, say, the previous gameplay style, if that makes sense. It's when they drop a gameplay style in favor of a different one. I mean, look, you could try out something different. But some people, uh, people like other formulas, you know? We can have both. Okay, what to go with? Um, let's get rid of the blizzards. Let's lower the defense of the Archdemon. Oh, good. Whack missed. Scorching flames. Our shield. When it comes to Fallout, from what I'm understanding, from what I've heard and what you basically told me before, if there is basically infighting within Fallout, mainly between 1 and 2 and then the rest of the series, there probably wouldn't be as much infighting if fans of 1 and 2 actually had a Fallout game in that style every once in a while, you know? But the problem is, they basically just dropped that gameplay style in favor of 3 and onward. And look, you can like multiple gameplay styles, but it's understandable when you like one gameplay style and they never do it again. To where if you want that type of gameplay style, you might just have to play a completely different j series altogether just to get that, just to get that fix. It's like Mega Man. It's like Mega Man. Uh, like, look at classic Mega Man. Ever since Mega Man 10, back in 2000, 2000 and... Was it 2010 or 20? No, it was 2010. There wasn't another classic Mega Man game in years. And a lot of Mega Man fans were like, where's the next Mega Man? So, and then when KG Inafune left, he made Mighty Number no. 9. People were hyped about it because there hasn't been anything Mega Man in so long. And then it was a complete disaster. It was a bad game, but people wanted it because people hadn't had classic Mega Man in years. Let alone any other Mega Man game. And with Mega Man, like, you can make an argument that it's the same thing, but honestly, with Mega Man, I don't really see much infighting, if that makes sense. Honestly, with Mega Man, it's just like, like, I think the community is mostly like, can we just please have another game? Please. Like, anything. We'll take anything. <laughs> like, I play Battle Network, right? Uh, it, there hasn't, like, there hasn't been a Battle Network game since 2005. And because Battle Network is so unique, there aren't really, there's only, like, two other games that are in that style, and even then, one of them is still a work in progress, or still being worked on, you know, just in general. 
I I know Star Force is a thing, but it's not it's not exactly the same. But my point is, there hasn't been a Battle Network game since 2005. There hasn't been a new Mega Man X game since no, I think 2005 as well was X8. Around that time. King's level 25, strength by 1, HP by 7, MP by 4. And he learned revive! Oh, finally. He, he can finally revive people. Too bad he dies all the times to not even use it. And here's the thing about the revive spell. It has a 50% chance of working. So every time you use it, it's a 50-50 shot on whether or not you even succeed. Have fun. Oh, Cyclops, I think we can actually put these to sleep. Oh well, yeah, uh... Yeah, Mega Man X hasn't got, like, a new game since, like, 2005. Legends... Legends fans have been waiting since, like, 2000, 2001 for a new game. And then they got keys dangled in front of them for the 3DS for Legends 3, and that just fell through. I feel bad for Legends fans. Star Force hasn't had a game, a new game since, uh... In, what? 2010-ish, give or take? Still on the DS. So, with Mega Man fans, yes, there's a bunch of different genres, or different variants of Mega Man, but because Mega Man just feels so neglected for new games, I think Mega Man fans will just take anything. Anything new. We finally made it to Hargon's Castle, and... What? We're back at Middenhall. Everything looks the same. We can even use the inn. It's like, what's happening? Welcome to Laurasia Castle. Oh, is that you, Prince Scotland? Welcome back. This is the Laurasia Castle. You've come to vanquish the great priest Hargon. Is that what you said? Do you have to defeat a good person like Hargon? Oh, how terrible. Ah, uh, Hargon, you're so beautiful. Hey, you cannot walk here. I will not allow such a thing. But please forget what I said. Don't waste your time on a woman not, not of your stature. It's like, what is happening? Why are we here? Thanks to Hargon, we were able to enjoy our date leisurely. I hear that it's Hargon's dream to work. So, so that the people of the world can be happy. Please contribute to this country's well-being. Ah, oh, it's Scottbot. You are free to enter the royal uh, treasure room and take the treasures. King the king of Lur uh, Middenhall is relieved that his this country has helped him to become an ally of Hargon. There was nothing in the chest. Still nothing. Man, what a ripoff of a treasure room, right? It's almost like it's already been looted. What's the point of a treasure room if you have no treasure? Uh, hurrah, Hargon! This is interesting. Let's see what everyone else has to say. The dragon's bane can protect your body from the magic of monsters, but there's a small chance you can be lured into sleep. However, if Hargon ends up ruining the world, you ha won't have to worry about it! <laughs> Heaven has sent us a savior, and is the great priest Hargon. 
Now, Scapa, let's pray together. May the gods' protection come to the great priest Hargon. What do you have to say? May the benevolent gods, blah, blah, blah. You certainly would become happier if you believe in Hargon within your hearts. I think everyone in Middenhall drank the Kool-Aid. I heard a rumor that said that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Hargon's army. I didn't hear the whole story, but in truth, it was just a mere fire. And... <laughs> A person who enters the Traveler's Gate will in instantly be transported to a far-off place. However, that is an old rumor. There is no need to leave this castle anymore. I am not going to take that, honestly. I don't know what will happen. I'm so embarrassed. I don't. I didn't know or think that anyone would come to defeat the Great Priest Hargon. I hear that the king is happy in becoming an ally of Hargon. If you really want to meet Hargon, please, by all means, talk to the king. I am Marilla. I was recruited by the king to replace the previous cabinet minister. Life is too peaceful. I was hired by the royal family to liven up the mood. Indeed, my dancing is heaven heavenly, don't you think? Don't tell me that you, you like the old cabinet minister more than me. King, can I have another drink? Come now, King. I feel like having a drink. Ah. Oh, King, you're so handsome. Come now, let's have a drink together. <laughs> Scapa, so you have returned. I was worried that you have misunderstood Hargon. But there is actually nothing to worry about with him. He is a wonderful person. I am finally one of his allies. <laughs> I hope you find what you're searching for. I think it's ridiculous that you have to fight. So, what we're supposed to do, we need to use the charm of Rubus. A beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. Scapa, do not be deceived. These are all illusions. Come now, open your eyes widely and look with the true discernment. It was all fake. And we didn't even get that full heal from the inn. What a ripoff. This is Laurasia Castle. Uh, come on, I want to talk to you. This is an item shop. What would you like? Kikiki, you good people have been fooled, but you pitiful creatures saw right through our illusions. Oh, great, Devil Lords. Okay, time to die, I guess. Fire ban, I'm gonna need to heal. Yep, gonna need to heal after that. <coughs> okay, I'll let... I'll let my character deal with that. Fireball, that's not that bad. Good, done. Alright. Might as well heal up. Might as well lower defense. It's kind of interesting that in the illusion, you if you use the inn, if you buy items, it seems like you bought everything and you slept at the inn. But then once you, you know, undo the illusion, you, you realize it was all fake. You didn't actually do anything. Kind of funny. I mean, fans are too starved to fight each other at the moment. Pretty much. And we found de we got devil's armor. Wow. Uh, antidote. Granted, I don't remember if Mega Man fans ever had infighting. You know. Like, I don't know if there was ever infighting with the Mega Man fans. Because, like, during that mid-2000s period, if you were a fan of, like, any of the Mega Man games, you were most likely getting your game. Like, if you were a fan of Battle Network, you were getting Battle Network. And then eventually Star Force, which is basically the spiritual successor. 
which it's not exact, but you're getting something Battle Network. If you are a fan of the Zero series, you're getting something Zero related. Well, that was pointless. If you're a fan of X, well, you had a few games until X8. Classic, you didn't really get anything, though. Like, if you were a fan of Classic Mega Man, you got some collections. You got Mega Man and Base on the Game Boy Advance. That's not a positive, I know, but it happened. That's probably another dead end. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. There is a hidden, hidden door back there that we need to search. Yeah, it's a good thing we kept all of our keys because we need them. Step guard. Let's take a look. Like, if you were a fan of Zero, you eventually got Z you eventually got ZX, and it was kind of like an extension of Mega Man X, so I think it kind of served both purposes. Actually, I think I need to use Step Guard again. But now with Mega Man, it's just that I think Mega Man fans will just take anything at the moment. Demon's Tail, we don't need that. That's not helpful at all. Step guard. But I bet you if we actually got like a new Mega Man game, like a brand new one, not counting Mega Man 11, let's say we got Mega Man 12. Well, people will be happy about it. We're going to get plenty of people that are going to be like, but classic Mega Man sucks. Where's X9? You'll probably get a few of those. You know, it, it, it just can't be helped, but... I don't know. But that's the trade-off with... That's that's the trade-off when you make a bunch of different styles for for a game's franchise. Okay, there's there's a hidden floor in here. I just I'm just not sure where it is. Oh. Okay. Where is it? There's a hidden floor here somewhere. Oh. Gotta set up step guard again. Just gotta be careful not to step onto the middle section now. I think when you're on these tiles, uh, random encounters basically shut off, so that's nice. Maybe if that happened, if random encounters were a thing on these tiles, it would re it would probably reset the step guard, meaning you have to use it again. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why they shut off random encounters on these tiles. I, I, at this moment, I just gotta check every square. You don't need the charm of Rubus. So... Oh, by the way, even though you use the charm of Rubus to get rid of the illusion, Every time you leave and come back, you need to use it again. So don't throw in storage. It's not you're gonna need you're gonna need it anyway. Okay. Do I need to pull up a map? Okay, fine, 
what am I missing? Argon Castle. What am I missing? Okay, on the NES. Uh... Oh, I messed up. I messed up. We can't continue. Uh, I have to leave. <sighs> no, we gotta leave. I messed up. Return. Just when I get to Hargon's castle. Might as well heal up and save. These two characters are almost ready to level up. Continue. Yes, we'll continue. Alright. I need to go back to a vault. Still not ready to use the inn yet. Oh, come on, get out of the way. All right. Uh, do I have room? I don't need the world map anymore. I think we could put that in storage. I won't need it. I... I forgot about this. We need... Um... We need the Statue of Evil. I forgot I needed that. Might as well sell my other stuff. Because we do not need... Devil's Armor... It's cursed. We don't need Demon's Tail or the other demon armor. No, I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy anything. There's nothing I want. I like to point out, uh, Kane has no helms. The only thing he can equip that's a helmet is the same magic hat that freaking Maria has. put my gold in here. I forgot I needed the Eye of Argon. I keep forgetting about that. Get out of my way, dude. Oh. Can I just leave? Return? Okay, good. Get my MP back. Continue the journey back to... Okay, back to Hargon Castle. I bet someone said that I needed to use the Eye of Hargon. Or the... Whatever. The False Idol. I bet someone mentioned that, but I just forgot. Lower the defense of the Archduke. Good. Uh, we'll use it again. Yeah, we are just at the point where we just need to lower enemies' defenses. These guys take too many hits, and they can't be put to sleep or used freaking 
Dazzle. Uh, level up. Strength by 4, Speed by 6, Vitality by 3, HP by 9. Yeah, that was level 27 for me. Maria's level 21. Strength by 3, Speed by 4, Vitality by 2, HP by 12, MP by 3. Shield. Let's lower the defense of the giant. And Kane just survived with freaking 6 HP. What a trooper. But he's probably gonna die to Firebane soon. And I'll start lowering the defense of the Devil Lords. Kane's poison. I can live with that. Uh, power shield. Kane can attack, and then another power shield. I'll let Kane heal. Oh yeah. Uh. What is this emulator called for that's on the iPhone? I'm assuming it's not on the I iPhone, uh, the store itself. You have to find it in other ways, right? Uh, power shield. Wait, nope, Kane can attack. Power shield. Delta emulator, okay. Maybe I'll look into that later. It is in the App Store. Okay. Okay. Antidote. Well, let's hope that just kind of sticks, you know, and they don't turn around and be like, nah, we're just gonna... Make it to where you can't have emulators again. Honestly, the N64 part is actually shocking to me. I don't know how good it would be on phones, but... I don't know. Something that probably just needs to be tried out. That means you could play SNES Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on your phone now. Okay... I'm gonna focus on getting rid of this, and I can use the light sword. It's actually useful. What do you mean it didn't work on the killer machine? That's whack. Instant death. Just end it now. There it is. Don't you just love instant death attacks? Now it's going to take another five years to get back to Hargon's castle. And I'm not even going to try to even beat the final boss. I'm just trying to get another achievement that's like right before it. Just to get it done. Yeah, thanks, game, for instant-killing two of my party members. If it was just, like, one of them, I would have I would have been fine, but no, it affected two of them. That sucks. I could have tried running, and I could have had Kane outside of battle just cast Revive, but at, after a certain point, is it even worth it? Actually, how much does Revive cost? Fif look at that. 15 MP to cast Revive? And it has a 50% chance of even working. Oh, can you not use defense on these guys? Oh, no, you can. Okay. I think one of them failed. That's... That's what happened. Okay. I love Dragon Quest 2. It's my favorite one. Clearly.
the difficulty curve just shoots right up as soon as you get here. Haven't you noticed, like, the huge difficulty spike that happens as soon as you enter this section of the game? It is ridiculous. They added Billy Eyelash to Fortnite. Why? Mantis, and then lower the defense of the Arch Demon. Oh, great. Explode it. Too bad it doesn't work on you. Too... <sighs> Look, Maria might be. Oh, come on, Kane. See what I mean about, like, Kane getting the revive spell? I mean, it's nice, but when he dies all the time, why is it. doesn't really matter. Alright. Who cares if he gets revived? He's the one that usually ends up dying first. Uh... Yeah, like... This game's difficulty spike shoots right up. You know, when you get to the Cave of Rome, it's bad. The difficulty spike is pretty large, but, like... Even my first run through of, as you kind of saw, even my first run through of the Cave of Rome, it wasn't too bad. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. As soon as we got here, though, this is awful. This is the worst. It's because enemies just are not affected by. They're not affected by sleep or illusions. So, a lot of those strategies are now just done. There's no escape, Maria. You can't get away from these guys. What's the point? I can't... Time to try to head back. This is fun. And they didn't see me. Wow, I managed to escape. I am surprised. <sighs> At least the game is nice enough to give me a full heal here. At least that is the nice part about this. With a free full heal, I should say. Like, that is the only nice part about this. But imagine, like, you're playing this for the first time, you get to the section, you get through the Cave of Rome, and you just don't know where to go, so you spend some time wandering around, not knowing where to go. What if you, you could have gone to the left and started exploring that way, not knowing where it was going to take you? And not finding the monolith at all. And then you could easily die by these overpowered enemies. And then that means you have you die and then have to do the Cave of Rhone all over again. Fallout 3 will get a remastered this year. Hmm. When did that game originally come out? It wasn't like mid-2000s? Uh, also have been have people been asking for a remaster of 3. Or have been people just wanting Fallout 5? I don't know. Just curious. Healing. And look, at this entire time, I have I've been carrying the leaf of the world tree. I could I could revive someone, but like if I'm not even making it to the castle, then what's the point? 
Might as well save the leaf and not have to get another one later, you know? Has to lower the defense a little bit more. Okay, and still lives. Does he heal? Yes. He made it in time. Okay. More shield attack. Sap of thunder. Ah, come on! Sapphire Thunder still kind of works sometimes. Okay. We can make this work. As long as Kang lives by the end, we can revive. Shield. Sapphire Thunder. My damage is better off of physical. I tried. I tried. Dragon Quest 2. What a... What a normal power scale. Exactly. Exactly. Uh... Antidote. Man, Maria could definitely use Return. That'd be nice. That way I wouldn't have to walk back. And I'm gonna point out... This is technically easier than, like, the beta. Apparently, the beta version of this game, before it, you know, like, before we got released in Japan, was even harder. Apparently. This was... This was the playtested version that they released. This game was supposed to be harder. Can you imagine Dragon Quest uh, 2, Ka Kaizo Dragon Quest 2? Because that's what that beta was, apparently. There's a morbid curiosity that I have with testing out that beta build that probably doesn't actually exist anymore. Okay. Um, so. Now let's just lower defense. Again, I'm going to remind chat, this is the easier variant of Dragon Quest 2. The NES version, you know, I'd still probably be at the Cave of Tyrone, if not even further back. Because this version was the first one to increase the EXP and gold you get from fights. I'm just making that clear right now. Shield. Kane. Let's keep going. Who cares about Kane? I don't. He he dies anyway. He's the Donald of this game. Kane is not goofy. Do I? Yeah. We'll fight him. Even after lowering their defense, it's not a one-hit KO. Yeah, 
you need to heal. I will lower their defense again. Get a kill. Get a kill, please. Get one of them out of here. There we go. I'm healing up. Sap of Thunder. Okay. Firebane. Let's heal up. I think if I make it to Hargon's castle, I think I'll revive Kane. I think that might be for the best. It's just getting to the castle right now. I need to make it to Hargon's castle again. What are we fighting? This is not that bad. You know what? I'm going to use Explode It. Okay, it doesn't work on these giants for some reason. They decided. What's the point of explosion when it doesn't work on a lot of enemies? Like, some of the enemies are just like, nah. Nah, it doesn't work on me. For no reason. It's an explosion! Why does it not work? Okay, I made it to Hargon's castle again. And see, you still need the Rubis. The Charm of Rubis. So yeah, don't throw in storage. Okay, you know what? We shall revive Kane. Uh, Alright, now let's try this castle out. I can always go grab another leaf. If I need it. Step guard. Alright. Uh, Statue of Evil? Nothing happened. Okay, I think we need to step right here. Now we use the Statue of Evil. There we go. We found a hidden staircase somehow. Okay. Demon priests. I forget what they can even do. Can we use surround? Not that it matters, they cast explode it. So it does work, but is there even a reason to do that? Okay, they rose their defense. Now let's heal. Hey, look! One of them actually tried using a physical attack. So it was kind of worth it, maybe. Okay, we got one out of here. Let's try sleep. It didn't work. Okay. You can't put him to sleep, but you can uh, throw pocket sand in their face. Power shield. Power shield. Um, sleep doesn't work. Surround does. Explode. 
I think at this point you just need to attack Sap of Thunder. They have Zing. That's just mean. Okay, I am going to try something. Stop spell. We gotta run out of MP at some point. I am Maria's dead. Hey, look, it worked. Let's heal up. Power shield. Power shield. Oh, good. Alright, so there's a strategy. Have Can use Stop Spell, and then have Maria have Illusion. That's a strategy right there. Okay. Luckily, Kane's actually still alive. Let's try it. Maria Maria's revived, yay. I'm gonna heal more Kane. Alright, now we have an idea for them. Okay, um, hmm. I'm gonna have my character focus on a metal babble. I'm gonna go with stop spell on the demon priest and I am going to light sword the demon priest. Okay, that worked. I still gotta worry about the gigantus. However, I want, I really need to try to get the XP and they ran, okay, never mind. So metal slimes are are in the castle. Okay, good to know. You know what? The demon priest I think is kind of uh, not a threat anymore, or less of a threat, I should say. There we go. Power shield. Again, like, Hargon's castle is still... Like, this whole section is hard. This really is. Staircase. Okay. This is indeed a gauntlet. Imagine if the illusion actually kept the revive if you used the inn. This wouldn't be as bad. But we have... One of Hargon's, like, elite guards, Atlas. Uh, we shall try... You know what? Uh, we gotta treat this as a boss fight. Let's cast Increase to raise our defense. Let's see if Light Sword works. Did not work. And I doubt Sleep will. Uh, of course Kane's dead. I have no other way to revive him. All right, let's go lower his defense. Okay, Maria, you know what? Let's have you heal. Okay. Can sleep work on you? I figured. It didn't work. And Maria's dead. And we we beat him. That's good. We made some we made progress. You know, let's just keep going. We're probably gonna die anyway. Doesn't really matter. One of these is a staircase. Buzz Pazuzu. I think I think it's changed to Pazuzu. I think is this a boss fight? Or is this just a regular enemy at this point? I don't know. Either way, I probably can't win. Oh, that's fun to see. It's trying to use black.
Oh my. You know what? I almost had that. <laughs> I almost had that. That's the sad part. Alright, I need to go get another leaf. People want the combat to be better in Fallout 3. People can point points for it. Sure, it's combat the thing that holds it back. Oh, okay. So the combat of 3 is outdated. You know what? The funny thing is, there was a chance I could have won that. But he cast Kamikaze. Uh, can I pull up like the list of spells again? Let's go get another leaf. Yeah, so right now we defeated one of Hargon's like generals. And that's kind of the, what I'm trying to do, is defeat, like, all of Hargon's generals. Luckily, since we beat Atlas, we... If I am correct, we don't fight anyone else. Or I should say, when we step on that square where Atlas was, we don't fight him again. I think that's how it works. Alright, I should just... Can I find, like, Kamikaze? I want to see the specifics. Sacrifice, here it is. It costs 1 MP. It kills all enemies and the caster. So, actually... Uh... No, if... When he cast that, it was doomed. Even if all three of my party members were alive, I wouldn't have made it. Granted, if all three were alive, there might have been a chance to, if I dealt a lot of damage. But, but that would have been the only thing. Alright, there we go. We got the leaf again. Come back. Let's make a save. Get my MP back. Make a save now that I have the leaf. It's a slow progress. But yeah, now that we've defeated Atlas, we don't fight him again. Granted, I am not sure if turning the game off and turning it back on means they respawn or not. I am not sure on that. We'll probably find out at some point. It does the zoom in a lot of games to do third person aiming. But does that zoom even in the first person? Basically makes that an optional ability mandatory. Hmm. I don't fully know what that means, but it sounds like it needs a rebalance. Oh wow, another devil's armor. It's not like I don't need that at all. Okay. 
No, you know what? Let's heal up. Power shield. Power shield. I'll let Maria heal again, it's fine. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, it's definitely rigged. Definitely rigged. You know, can I use stop spell on the demon? I never tried. Gonna have to heal after this. It does work on the Archdemon. Power shield. Gonna lower your defense. Hey, we stopped explode it. That's something. Shield, and then we'll just have you attack. Well, that stops what some of what he can do. I mean, he can still use physical attacks, and the illusions don't work on him, but yeah, we stop something. I like forgot I had stop spell. Because I don't use cane for that sort of thing anymore. All right. There's only one, but still got treated seriously. See, if he decides to go with physical attacks, stop spell doesn't really mean anything. Okay, Kane. You know what? Kane needs to heal. I am not risking this. I still have the seeds to give stat boosts if I need to. If there's a defensive one, I might hand that to Kane because he needs it. Well, these are silver devils. Well, this ain't that bad. I could put them to sleep. Sleep. Yeah, this ain't that bad. Okay, who leveled up? It was me, level 28. Strength by 5, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 10. That's nice. Double lords again. Does stop spell work on them? I'm curious. It does work on them. So it stops Firebane. That's something. Okay, I'm learning something. Again, I kind of forgot stop spell even exists. I kind of wish Maria just had stop spell instead. Okay. Stop spell, the archdemon. We are going to lower the defense of the devil lord. Oh, it missed. Dang it. It's not guaranteed. Well, when he goes with scorching flames, it doesn't really matter, does it? Stop spell. Lower the defense. Okay, good. Let's heal up. Alright. Yeah, just 
just keep attacking. It's not a big deal. Yay, Maria got the kill. Right. Antidote. I could have had Kane do that, but it doesn't matter. Alright, let's break the illusion. Do I need the statue still to make the staircase pop up? We'll find out. Now that I remembered that stop, stop spell exists, we can make it to Hargon's castle more consistently. <laughs> We're gonna find out step guard. Yeah, we still need the Eye of Hargon. Yeah, we still need it. Oh wow, a regular dragon! This thing is... Well, when it's by itself, it's definitely not scary. Still waiting for, like, red or blue dragons now. Okay. Stop spell. Sword of Light. Ah, both of them escaped. I was really hoping to get a Metal Babble kill. Okay. I'm gonna focus on healing. That cane heal. I don't know why the freaking giants can't be affected by illusions. I almost want to try again. Oh, it does work on them. It probably just missed. Okay. That, again, like them being affected by it makes the most sense. It probably just failed last time. I tried once and then it failed. Be like, whoop, I, they're not affected by it. It's probably just not guaranteed. Yay, someone leveled up. Kane's level 26. Strength by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 12. No MP. Who cares about MP, I guess. Demon Priest has not seen me. We could just run. We could just run, then. Alright. Now, again... The Atlas should be gone. Yeah. We are going to find out if Pazuzu's here. Yep, this is the boss fight. Alright. Let's see if we can cast Stop Spell on him. I'm going to try Illusions. It does work. Firebane. It didn't work. Is it because it just missed? Or I'm going to try it one more time. It didn't work, okay. That's not a good sign, because he could easily just cast Kamikaze at any point. I don't think I'm gonna bother with trying to use sleep. There it is. defeat, right? Yep, that was whack. Oh, that's just mean. Fine. Look at the world tree, Kane. We 
revive. Power shield. Oh, wow, we're lucky. This, this guy has heal all? Full heal? That is mean. That is just mean. Okay, I really gotta treat this seriously. Okay, no one fell asleep. You know what, can I lower his defense? the defense. Oh, good, we got him. And again, that's a boss fight, so now he's gone. Maria's level 22. Strength by 2. Speed by 10. Vitality by 5. HP by 9. MP by 2. And Maria has learned revive. Who needs Kane? And we have the liar. Can we cast stop spell? Can we put illusions on it? It didn't work. This might be the hardest one. It didn't work. I gotta heal up. Scorching flames. Of course, he just protects himself. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have Kane try the light sword again and see if it's just a fluke. But I'm gonna lower defense. Kane's dead. Oh, and he can't. Defense can't be lowered. Is this guy even? Is this guy even affected by anything? I don't think so. Well, I have revive. That's nice. Split it. I guess I'll let Kane attack. I'm gonna use full heal. Good. Okay, Maria's still alive. Oh, I got a crit. Yay! We defeated the three generals, and that was why I wanted to go into the castle. Come on, l uh, refresh, please. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. There it is. Defeat the three guardians in Hargon's castle. There's the progress I was looking for. Let's leave. That's what I was trying to do. 